this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a how-to video. So this is going to be a how to make a 3D intro in Panzoid.com. So a lot of you, I, you guys probably know want or don't know how to do this. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description for Panzoid.com and click on the link, or you want to type it in, but it's easier to click the link because it'll bring you to the right website. What you want to do is this is a little glitch in this so what you want to do is click on one of these creations just click on one of these and then hit the arrow up in the top left guys and then it'll bring up the latest and top because that doesn't do it normally for some reason but what you want to do is you want to go to the top and you want to pick any one of these ones you can keep going down scroll down all the way if you guys want to but for me oh here here's an outro too if you guys want an outro but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick a random one. I'm just going to pick, uh, so instinct this one. So once you pick the one you want, make sure to pick wisely. <clears throat> you want to go to open and clip maker. Once you go to open clip maker, you want to click this little eye right over here. So you can see the full and then hit play. So when you pick the one you want, all you want to do is you want to go to this little cube over here guys if you can see it right here click on this and then go to the text once you guys see the text you want to click on it you want to go to where this is you want to delete that and you want to type in what you want yours to be so for instance I'm gonna do strix like that you can customize your font too so I'm gonna do bold and hit enter so I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like so far So there you guys go. So once you do that, if you want to add another text, say if you're you're doing two like uh, two names or two words, what you want to do is if it's only one text, you want to hit add object. You want to go to custom 3D text, and you want to just want to add another one or put it like below it or something like that. So once you do that, what you want to do is you want to go to the download button. You want to go. <clears throat> for this guys I do good quality I don't do extreme because that'll go very slow I have pretty good internet but I mean I'm gonna do good quality just for the video or balance I'm gonna do I'll do balance just for this video and you want to keep it on uh, just keep it on the same format and you want to do start video render okay guys so when it is done it'll say your render is finished click below to download so this is how to actually download so pay very close attention so what you want to do is you want to download your video It'll bring you here in the bottom left screen. Just close out of this stuff. In the bottom left, it'll show video MKV. You want to click on that, and it'll show it right here. Okay, there the video is, guys. And um, what you want to do next, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually put it in our uh, your video. So let me show you guys that real quick. Okay, guys. So I am back and. Pay, pay very close attention to this part because when you try to put it in a actual video it does not work because of the file uh, location and the name so what you guys want to do is you want to go when you check out your thing and make sure it's working properly you want to go back close out of this and what you want to do is you want to go to your search and you want to search up video converter zam czar when you search that up you want to find um, Zamzar, which is right over here. It should be like a pink uh, name. If it's not, just do this one. But uh, I'm going to go to this one. And what you guys want to do, pay very close attention to this, is you want to go to choose file. You want to find your file. Okay, guys, so when you find your um, file, what you want to do is you want to click on it, and you want to hit open. Okay. Um, let me just close out of this one. All right, and it'll say pending. So what you want to do is you want to convert. You want to hit this little arrow down. You want to click on MP4. Do not click on any other one of these. Click on MP4. Would you click on MP4? Hit convert now. And it'll start uploading down here. So we'll just wait for that. And when it converts, you want to wait till it goes through this. And it'll show, I'm pretty sure it'll show in the bottom left. Okay, guys. So what you want to do now is you want to hit download. And in the bottom left, it'll show. Okay, guys. So what you want to do next is you want to, to actually use the um, intro what you guys want to do is you want to close out of all your uh, apps and all that 
Next, what you want to do is you want to go into your editing software. So I like using DaVinci Resolve because it's free. So everyone, I'll put a link in the description down below. It's very easy, free, and everything. Okay, guys, so when you are in your editing software, all you want to do is you want to open your uh, file explorer uh, like this. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is you want to find your uh, the file that you downloaded to MP4. Okay, guys, so what you want to do next is you want to hold the video, the one that you uh, uh, put on. It says MP4. If it's MKV, you have to convert it. So what you want to do is you want to do the MP4 file. You want to drag it into this and copy and hit do not change on DaVinci. And then this is how you are how it's gonna look. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very simple video. Uh if you have any questions, leave uh, a comment down below. Hopefully the comments are enabled. Usually it doesn't work. But yeah, um hope you guys enjoyed this video of this 3D um out uh intro and I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.